Hey traders, welcome back to another mindset video. As you all can see, just arrived in Switzerland, Zermatt. And yeah, just thought of using this spectacular view to just tell all of you um, um, some of the good and bad things about trading is that, you know, lots of people, they always try to say, hey, as a trader, you make a lot of money if you, if you become successful. But I think most people just put their perspective they put their focus on the wrong point because let's say today if you if your goal is to become a good trader let's say whatever six figure seven figures trader and your only objective is to say i want to hit the figure then meanwhile you forgot to enjoy the process because as a trader including myself right now you will be going through tons of ups and downs um wins loss failing um, trial and error and it's just part of the process you know try to enjoy the process despite being at the bottom of your life you know what throughout my five plus almost six years of trading journey i have fell i was at the rock bottom multiple times i'm not saying one times two times four to five times i feel like should i just quit the market should i still continue to do this Will I really make it or not? But the real answer was, that's, that's just not the main point, right? Whether if I become a successful trader or not, it's not something that I can decide. What I can do is I keep pouring in more effort. I keep doing things that I'm supposed to do, especially right now. I'm not just an, as an individual retail trader. I also coach a community of 60 traders. So that all of these um, just give me a big sense of accountability plus responsibility. So I want all of you to understand this. Despite, I know, trading gives you lots of freedom. But like, for example, for myself, I'm able to travel to Switzerland, and stay in Europe for a month, head to France while doing things that I love, which is accompany my wife and my baby. And also at the same time, enjoying the beautiful view. But the price and the cost behind all these freedom are massive what i'm saying massive is really really massive right no one will ever understand what's the real price of becoming a good trader most people trust me when you're at your rock bottom as a trader when you are failing when you're constantly losing money people will judge you people will say hey why are you still still doing this are you a gambler you're not going to make it get a job but once you make it there will still be haters trying to say he's just lucky Someday he's going to lose everything. He's going to be back to zero. So the whole point is don't care too much about what other people think about you, including your close friend, including your family members, or even your, your own wife. The key thing is don't seek for support until you have proven result. And it is not their responsibility. It is not their job to trust you. This was something that I truly understood after so many years of trial and error was that, all right, fine. If you don't believe in me, if you don't think trading is going to work for me, it's fine. Time will tell. I don't need you to trust me. We can still be friends. We can still be a very happy family. You don't have to trust me, but I believe I know what I'm doing. The key, the whole point here is to know what you are doing if you don't know what you're doing nothing will make sense if you know what your goal is if you know what you're trying you're, you're striving for you know why you're working so hard you know why you are losing so much money you if you all know all of these are for a better future path a better future self just pursue your goal your passion and the last thing is still this video is a little bit random is we all here, me and you, whoever's watching this video, we have to understand that trading might not be something that's for you, right? A lot of people, they trade for five, six, seven, eight years just to realize they can't be a trader. And that is a risk that we all have agreed upon before we started trading. For example, if you're running a business, there is no guaranteed success. So the same goes into trading. 
right now, maybe your your first year, second year of trading, you everything feels fresh, especially when you're first into the market for one to two years. You are feeling pretty good. Even if you're losing, you don't feel that much pain. The real pain comes when you're at your third, fourth, or fifth years, and yet you feel like you have not achieved anything. And yet you feel like your surrounding are slowly building up their family. Your surrounding is buying their first house. Your surrounding is getting married. That's when things really hit. And that's normally when your mindset starts crumbling apart as well. So again, I want all of you to please understand everyone has different timing. So regardless if, let's say, someone... Um, from your surrounding, is they are th- they are thriving well in their own business. They are making seven eight figures a year. Let them be. Let them do their own life. Let them do whatever they want. If your goal is to become a trader, think about it as a business investment. It's all about the long term. We're not here trying to say I want to make a million dollars within two to three years. No, if that's your goal, don't become a trader. Go to the casino. It's easier to flip your money like that. But trading, if you're doing it well, you're, you will be able to not just compound your knowledge, also compound your trading skill set, compound your financial status, compound your wealth. And eventually when things start snowballing, that's when you just realize, hey, my success, my growth just goes from this and it starts going steeper and steeper. And that's when you realize, hey, it's worth it. It's worth the four or five years of not knowing what I'm doing. It's worth the four or five years of waking up every single day, working so hard, but just to feel like you're still at the same place. There are a lot of times, yes, it might be physically feeling like you're at the same place, but someday when you make it, once you look back, you're going to understand, hey, I was not standing on the same ground. I was actually growing. But just like um, a Chinese bamboo, I was growing, or like the iceberg theory. We're growing under the root. We're growing under the surface. You are strengthening your stem before you become a very healthy tree, a very healthy bamboo. All right. So that's pretty much it for the video. And yeah, it's getting freezing cold. So I was a, I just want to show all of you the view and... That's it for the video, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.